Hello, my name is Dr. Millinghouse. And I'd like to take a moment and briefly explain to you some principles that I've learned over the years, both as a chiropractor and as a professor of anatomy, in how to deal with pain in the musculoskeletal apparatus. Most of us suffer from pain. 95% of that pain is in the movement apparatus. That is very sensible because the skeletal and the muscle systems move the body around, and therefore they're most exposed to injury. So most pain receptors are found in joints, ligaments, and muscles. Symptoms are a language that the body uses to tell us that something is wrong and needs our attention. Deadening pain, which we do, for example, if we take long-term pain medication, is like cutting an unpleasant weed instead of pulling out its roots. Just eating pain pills and masking symptoms leads to more serious conditions down the line. Understanding that, and then understanding on how to improve the function of the involved body parts instead leads to long-term and sustainable pain relief. Let's look at those parts. Bones stack on top of one another. Connections form joints. They become the most vulnerable part of the skeletal system. Ligaments are rubber bands reinforcing joints. An injury disrupts a joint. Bones get stuck out of place. Ligaments break, or at least they stretch. Long-term postural abuse in a gravity environment, such as sitting all the time, also causes injury, but it's a slow pull and it kind of takes its time. Muscles pull on bones. They make us move around. Injury makes some of those muscles extra tight to protect joints, but others become limp so they don't hurt when, we, when they contract. Muscles sometimes almost tear and the brain then shuts them off like a circus breaker and they don't work anymore. Other muscles take over at that point and the body adapts to still move around but it is less efficient and it becomes the next site of injury. Also muscles that don't contract adequately are not shock absorptive and that will lead to more rapid joint degeneration. So if you if you want less pain in the long term but also better performance and you want to prevent some injuries you have to look at increasing the function of the involved body parts. We can do that. We can do that with less hassle than you get from drugs and from surgery because we can put bones back into place, make the joints move smoother again, loosen up tight muscles, reduce scarring in those muscles, and best of all, we have a novel techniques to re-stimulate muscle tissue and, and assure that the brain's using them properly. And to make that all long-term, we can then have some active treatment as well and show you exercises to reinforce all of that. So this will get you true health in the movement apparatus and better wellness overall because we move better without pain and enhances all the systems when we move. And after all the trouble that we've had with the you know, opiate epidemic, for example, all the medication use, even the American College of Physicians has decided to change the guidelines and now thinks physical treatment should come first. So the next time you experience pain, Remember that improving your body's function is the most effective way to get rid of that pain quickly and in a manner that it stays away. Thank you for your attention.